As you were sleeping, here's what's made the headlines. Open enrollment for Medford schools. A final answer is in as the school board voted late last night. The investigation into this weekend's fatal officer-involved shooting in West Medford continues. What friends of Ruiz are saying this morning. And caught on tape, an avalanche barrels down a mountain in Washington, bearing one snowmobiler. The amazing video is next. BC 5 News at Sunrise starts now. Hello, good morning, everybody. The 24th of January, 2012, a Tuesday morning. I'm Ann McCloy. And good morning. Thank you for joining us here on Sunrise at 630. I'm Austin Reed. We'll get to all of your top stories in just a bit, but we do weather first. Yeah, Kim Laughlin live with What's Ahead Today. A little bit of rain in downtown Medford right now, Kim. New this morning in your school news, after a unanimous vote, the Medford School Board has voted against implementing an open enrollment policy. The Mail Tribune reporting overnight implementing the open enrollment policy would allow students to transfer to schools outside their neighborhood or district boundaries. Districts would be able to put a cap on the number of students they accept by school or grade, but would have no input regarding students who leave their district. Currently, both districts must approve a transfer. And in Josephine County today, Grants Pass School District 7 will be holding a workshop to discuss their inter-district transfer policies. During the workshop, board members will discuss how other districts are handling the transfer legislation and discuss possible future actions the board may take. 6.33, all new and happening later this morning. A Medford man accused of stabbing another in Hawthorne Park will be in court today. Shiloh Hudson facing charges of attempted murder, among others, after allegedly beating and stabbing Medford resident Michael Gregory in May 2011. Hudson's brother Cody and Dustin Solly, who, who were also involved in the fight, will not be present in court today. The two have been charged with third-degree assault and disorderly conduct. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story, bring you the latest from the courtroom as it does become available. Also scheduled to be in a Medford courtroom, Edwin Shane Cohen will go before a judge today for sentencing after pleading guilty to lesser charges in the death of Burke Thompson in a drunk driving crash back in 2002. Cohen was originally found guilty, then had his sentence overturned by the Oregon Court of Appeals. During the retrial, Cohen accepted a plea deal. The move will likely mean that Cohen will not have to serve any additional jail time. 6.35 now. The search resumes today for a young girl missing after falling into the Clackamas River. It happened Sunday afternoon as the girl was with her family at Austin Hot Springs. The family had come to enjoy a day of fun in the snow, but that's when six-year-old Vanessa Snagor somehow fell into the Clackamas River. Her parents say they could not reach the girl because of the strong currents and because there's no cell service in the area. The family had to leave and drive 45 minutes to a store for help. Re uh, searchers are battling the cold and high water levels as they continue to look for the girl. Unnecessarily personal and nasty. That's how Newt Gingrich, Newt Gingrich described Mitt Romney's attacks at uh, last night's Florida debate. There were four candidates on stage, but Gingrich and Romney dominated the debate, mostly back and forth about the money they've earned. Meanwhile, Rick Santorum characterized both as the rich protecting the rich. The next debate takes place Thursday in Jacksonville, and the Florida primary happens next Tuesday. Developing this morning, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney starting to release his tax records. Overnight, the former governor confirmed that he paid about $3 million in income tax for the year 2010 and expects to pay about $3.2 million to cover 2011. Over the past two years, he has earned $42.5 million exclusively from profits, dividends, or interest from investments. Over the same two years, the Romneys have donated $7 million to charity, including more than $4 million to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Flooding and downed trees blocking Highway 255, that's five miles north of the intersection with US 101. Seek alternate routes there. Watch for icy conditions on the Siskiyou Summit and in Klamath and Lake Counties. Sunrise at KOBI5.com is our email. You can reach us that way all throughout the morning. And now let's get a check on the least expensive gas prices from Southern Oregon to Upper Northern California. 
641, sunrise at 630, just getting started. And coming up next, a big announcement from Allegiant Airlines this morning regarding new service out of the Medford Airport. We'll have the announcement only on sunrise as we go live via satellite with Allegiant's president, who will tell us all about it. Again, that's all new at 630 and only on 5. Stay with us. We'll be right back.